welcome to the Yo Yarn Girl podcast. My name is Lisa and I'm coming to you from the Denver, Colorado area. And today is Friday, October 21st. Happy birthday, Ethan, if you're watching. That's my nephew. Um, he celebrates a birthday today. For all of my returning viewers, welcome back. Thank you for being here. And for anyone that's coming across this podcast for the first time, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. So today I am going to, I have one finished object, a couple of half objects, um, some works in progress, some dream knitting, and of course I've got uh, lots of whips. But I think I'm only going to really show two whips that I've really been actively working on. Um, today I'm wearing, and hopefully you see, this is hopefully not showing up backwards for, uh, for you, but this is one of uh, Nitty Natty's definition collection, the Knit Travert. And then I, on the back, put my Yo Yarn Girl logo. So I have that on the back of this. And of course it's purple. So without further ado, oh, oh and I'm heavy on acquisitions. So a lot of this is gonna be acquisitions. And then we are going to announce our winner from the last podcast. And surprise, I chose two winners. So the first winner will receive the yarn in the bag and the second winner is going to receive a skein of yarn and I will probably throw in a few extras. So I will announce those winners towards the end. Um, we may talk about another giveaway, we'll see. And um, I've got lots of acquisitions to show you. So without further ado, let's get started with the finish object. So my first finish object, and this is kind of a funny one because these socks have been on the needles for probably, let's see, I've been in Colorado for three. So I'm gonna say at least five years, maybe six. I had made the, I had completed one and these were for my son. So if you go back to um, previous podcasts, I had mentioned that um, I was due to make my son a pair of socks, never got those completed and I made his girlfriend a pair of socks. So it's always kind of been a running joke with us of, well, I guess I'm never gonna get my socks. Well, guess what? His socks have been completed. So I've got a finished pair. And of course I knit some of my hair in there. <laughs> um, so this is just some uh, Peyton's Croy yarn. I think they called it Marl Stripe, but there was another name for it. I, it's discontinued, but I decided to pull these out and I wanted to go ahead and finish these. So these were, this is 64 stitches. I knit these on a US 1 2.25 millimeter needle, and it's just a plain vanilla sock with a slip stitch, a heel flap and gusset. And actually, because these have been sitting around for so long, the second one ended up getting a heel flap and gusset, and this one has the uh, slip stitch heel. But again, no one's gonna see that, so I just continued to go ahead, I didn't rip it out. And this is my finished object. So really like those. And I don't know if I'm giving them to him. <laughs> so I probably will, but I am going to knit him another pair. So he will be getting a pair for Christmas um, of socks. So, and I will get those finished, but that's my finished object for today. So my half, my first half object is a sock that I am knitting along with Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady is doing a cowl for a uh, scrappy, stripy sock. So this is following her recipe where you are doing a 20, I think it's 24 round cuff, two by two. Then you're gonna do uh, the first, you do seven, round, seven different stripes and up top it's eight rounds for each. And then you do the foot as long as you want till you are gonna start to decrease and you've got seven stripes and these are four rounds each. And I think I did these as, I did five because I was worried I was, it was gonna be too short. So, and I think it's probably just maybe, it's just right, I don't think it's too long, but um, really, really enjoyed this. I actually finished this in probably a weekend, not knitting monogamously on it. Um, I got it finished in a weekend. So I have not cast the second one on, but I will be doing that probably today. Um, I will cast the second one on and hopefully I will have that one finished. And I just use some, um, K of the crazy sock lady uses these light bulb stitch markers when she's counting, uh, rounds 
she puts them every 10 rounds and I use this for my foot every 10 rounds just so the um, next sock will sock will match and this is just again a heel flap and gusset on this one so really really like these and this is uh, my main yarn the gray is a yarn that I've had in my stash for a while from Legacy Fiber Arts and this is on their steel I believe it's on their steel toe base and then I just have random minis. I do have a project page for this, so all the information will be on the project page. And I will, if I don't um, put things on the screen, I will link to my um, Ravelry project page for all of my projects that I showed today. And you can always check that out there, okay? All right, and my next tap object. This is another one that, again, has been on the needles for a while. It is also a uh, Peyton's Croy sock yarn. And I think this one is called, um, I want to say it's like spice or ginger. I think it's ginger, something ginger in it, but I'll, I'll also, I'll either link it below, um, may put it across the screen. And again, just a vanilla sock, um, 64 stitch, two by two. Nope. This is a, a one by one and it's twisted. I twisted this rib. So, and then again, heel flap and gusset. Um, just did my stitch, uh, stitch markers, light bulb stitch markers for the every 10 rounds. And this is a little bit of a longer sock. I, um, I think I started knitting this from one of Marley Bird's, um, tutorials on either my first pair of socks or some, I think it, that's what I initially started this out on and I just never, um, finished it, but it's, I will have this done by Halloween because I think that I'm going to wear these for Halloween. I think the scrappy stripy ones and these will be socks that I wear for that week of Halloween when I go into work. So I'll be able to show off my socks. So really pleased with these. And I'm actually, I normally don't knit this long of a leg, but I actually kind of like it. So I might knit some more socks with the leg that's this long. So we'll see. I do like the, sh I, I like the short ones, but, um, you know, it does get cold in Colorado. It's, it's not, as cold as folks think, but um, the mountains are, but we don't get that much snow um, down here in the Denver area. So uh, we get snow, but it's not, it's not that bad. But I do like this. So um, I think I might start doing that. And I think I have, let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40. So this one was 59 rounds. And then I started the uh, heel flap and gusset or heel flap. And so, yeah, I think I, I, I like that. So I, I might, you might see some longer socks um, for me. And these actually, I'm going to tell you, they've been flying off the needles. These socks have just been, I've just been going and they've been flying off the needles. So um, really like those. So I think that is it for, and this is the second pair. So I've just started on the heel flap for the second pair. So I'm there. And I'm actually, um, if you see, I'm doing this on a nine inch circular. It's also a one millimeter, um, 2.25 millimeter US one needle. And, um, someone that had watched my podcast and they, you know, were seeing my projects that I was using a nine inch circular and asked me about the heel. I sometimes Kay has a, a tutorial out, um, knitting vanilla socks with a nine inch circular, which I typically follow. And she has both, both ways to do the heel flap. So she will transfer them to a double pointed needle or magic loop. And you can do your heel that way, or she has it where you can leave it on the nine inch circular. And I do, I do it both ways. It just kind of depends on the mood. And I think a lot of it depends on the type of yarn I'm using. But this one, I just, I didn't feel like transferring the, um, the needles. So I left it on my nine inch circular and I'm thinking about, um, I think I'm going to show how I do that because, uh, the comment that I got was asking how I do that. So it's still on the nine inch. And so I think I will kind of, uh, I'll just show that, um, just so that if, if you want to see it, it'll be out there and you can see it. But I know she also has a tutorial out as well, but I'm happy to show how I do this. I'm also thinking about doing a, um, a video when I get to the decreases for this sock, 
I'm also, I think I'm going to just, and it's not really a tutorial. I'm just going to show the way I do my slip slip, uh, knit. I do them a little bit different and it's not my, uh, way I found this from another podcaster or designer that, um, another podcast podcaster, the way they do their slip slip knit. And it just is a little bit cleaner. Um, so I think I'm going to, uh, I'll film that along with the rest of the heel flap so that uh, you can see that if you're interested. And what I'm thinking about doing is um, maybe having something on Tuesdays like a Teach Me Tuesday, and I will start to show some techniques that I've learned or hacks that I've learned from other knitters that have been helpful and useful in my uh, toolbox of knitting tricks. So. Um, comment below whether that's something that you would be interested in seeing but I think that um, I think it would just be nice that we you know we often share stuff that works for us and different hacks and I know that the slip slip knit hack for me it does look cleaner especially when I'm uh, decreasing on toes so um, I'm happy to share that so I think that's what I'll do when I I'll film a little bit of this and I will put that up. Not sure exactly when I'll get that done, but um, hopefully here soon. And like I said, I'm looking at maybe doing a Teach Me Tuesday and I will upload on Tuesdays, I will upload a uh, video that will really just be a technique, a technique or a hack that I've learned or that I want to share with everyone else that's helped me through my knitting journey. So um, look for that to come and um, comment below if that's something that you think you'd be interested in. Okay. So moving on to my works in progress. And I showed both of these last podcast and I've made some progress. This is my after the rain sweater by Heidi Kermeyer. And I was, I've split, I had split for the sleeves the last podcast but I was here the last podcast and now I've gotten here. So I have a little bit more to go um, on the body and then there, there are, there's some shaping. So I will do the shaping. I wasn't sure you can do it with or without. I think I am gonna do the shaping. So you will, um, you'll see this on the next podcast and I also will share over on my Instagram, but I'm hoping to have this pretty much um, to the waist uh, band by the weekend and then I'll go ahead and start my sleeves so that I can wear this. So the weather's getting, you know, cooler. We have, it's a really nice fall day today. Um, great day just to be out walking, riding a bike, um, but a really great day. And this would be a really nice uh, sweater to be wearing. So that's my after the rain. And this actually was over the summer. Um, Jana of Pearl Together had done a uh, knit along and with this and she did some tutorial kind of things on just some of the different uh, techniques in the pattern and um, I didn't finish it then but I wanted to definitely finish it the uh, yarn I used is all from a girl in her wool it's her DK uh, yarn I want to say this is pebbles in the river or I'll link everything and then this is a uh, oats wild oats maybe or oatmeal wild oats but I will link all that so and then my next work in progress that I've really been working on is my Felix cardigan and I love it split for the sleeves just a couple of days ago I did put a um, something on my community tab that showed where I had split for the sleeves try not to cover my face sorry but I want you to really see this I absolutely love, love, love this. Um, I definitely will have another one on the needles very soon, but this, it's A, it's flying off the needles, and this is being knit on a, um, it's a US 10 six millimeter uh, needle. And I'm doing this with a cow uh, with Taylor, uh, wool needle hands. She's just so adorable, I love her. And she has a podcast, check her out. And she has an, uh, she's got a cow going on for the uh, Felix. So they also have a pullover. So the pullover is probably what I'm gonna put on the needles next, but I'm definitely gonna put a cardigan on, um, another cardigan on the needles. Something I'm thinking about doing is 
just because the purling part, you know, like I don't mind purling, but it's, I don't love it. So I'm thinking about maybe trying to put a steak panel in the pullover and then I'll steak it. I've never done any steaking before. Have wanted to actually, uh, Jana of Pearl Together, she did a cal with a color work sweater that they did steaking. And I started it and just never really, I, I couldn't follow along. I was too busy at that time, but I do have some yarns that I could probably use. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to get another one on the needles, but yeah, this is my Felix cardigan and this is in Cascade 220. It's a worsted weight and this is non superwash. So I do like this. It's actually, to me, it's not, it's definitely not a heavy worsted weight. What I do, what I really want to do for my pullover is I would like to order a sweater quantity um, of yarn from um, Fiber for the People, which is Taylor, who's doing the uh, cow. She dyes yarn and she has some beautiful colors. So I would really like to um, order a sweater's quantity. So more to come on that. So I think, oh, and I've got one more whip here. So my, sorry. We are going into the cooler weather, weather sorry. Words today, Lisa, words. And I had knit my um, husband a muscle burrow hat last year. He really loved it, kept him really warm, and he was wanting another hat. Didn't mind having another muscle burrow because he does like that hat, but I wanted to do something different and um, something that would knit up really quickly. So I decided to go with a bulky hat, and I am doing, um, I think there's this, she has Melissa, it's by Melissa Thompson, and this is the Jason Tweed hat. And I think she's the same designer that does Jason's cable hat, maybe it's, it's or the cable hat, but uh, I'm pretty sure that is who does this. But this is just a bulky uh, weight yarn from Knit Picks. Um, it's their uh, bulky, it's 100% Peruvian wool, I believe, Highland wool, and um, obviously black. And it's got just a cute pattern on the um, on the uh, cuff here, and you can f you knit enough to where it can be flipped up. So he did think this was really nice, and um, he would get use out of it. So I'm hoping to get this finished too in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully by the uh, next podcast, I will either be popping in a picture because he'll be wearing it, or you will see it as a finished object if I can uh, keep him from taking it to wear but um, I know he's anxious to get this hat, so I wanna get that finished for him. So, and I think that is it for my works in progress that I was, have been actively working on. I will show my, um, really haven't been, sorry, my chair's creaky. I really haven't been working on this much, but um, I will show my lace and fade boxy. I got to the, um, mohair and I just haven't when I just haven't have been able to pick it up really like it um and this again was for the hohe I think that's the wrong side this is for the hohe fall knit along that she's got going on, on over on her Ravelry page and um again I'm using some Miss Babs yarn and then the mohair is a uh, knit picks aloft so it's coming along, but it's just slow. And you know, I haven't, like I said, the mohair, I have to really, I have to take my time. Um, I'm older, so my eyes don't necessarily see all the chart well. So, um, you know, it just, it takes time. So I have to really be in the right headspace, I guess, to do the mohair. It's, uh, it's I need to just sit down and get the mohair done, go on to the next panel and be done with it. Because I do want to have this. It's a really, really cute, um, the Lace and Fade Boxies is a really cute sweater. It's oversized boxy fit. Um, Hohe has several different boxies, and this is her latest, is the uh, Lace and Fade Boxy. Sorry. I'm just drinking tea today in my Yo Yarn Girl cup from Knit Swag over on Etsy. I woke up kind of with a sore throat this morning. I don't know why. I haven't been sick or anything but okay so I am now I think we are going to do some well I want to show you something I'm getting ready to start I'm doing another test knit for Christy Archer 
Christy Archer Designs. So I think all of you saw my um, ascot in the, um, she had a mohair ascot in my last podcast that I test knit for her, purple. And she now, um, I also have done the Simply Irresistible uh, worsted weight socks. And that was just a pattern. I didn't test knit, test knit the socks. But she now has come out with a Simply Irresistible mohair sock that she is, I am testing for her. So I will be starting that this weekend. And that is what it looks like. So really nice. Um, it's fingering weight and mohair. So I'm super excited about getting that on my needles and getting uh, to get going on that. So I initially, I'm going to show you the yarn that I picked out to use, which I was using in another project and I'm not going to use it. So these are my yarns. This is from, I'll link what, who this is, because this is, I bought this at my local, local yarn shop. This is actually a colorway from Ruby and Roses um, yarn. So um, I'll link, I'll link what it is um, below, but this is my combo that I'm going to use. I'm excited about these. I think they're going to turn out really well. So, all right. So that's my test knit. And then um, some dream knitting. And it's not really dream knitting. It's my, my next cast on for a sweater. Everyone has gone down the road of the Rhinoculus and I have never, I mean, I look at them, I think they're beautiful and I've just never knit the Rhinoculus for whatever reason. And I think because the ones that I have seen in the past have been, um, they've been mohair and I want to say mohair and a finger or mohair and DK. And I just was not comfortable at that time knitting with mohair. I will tell you the test knit that I did for Christy Archer really sent me down that mohair path. And so I'm really, really loving knitting with mohair now and am sad that I had missed out prior to, but I'm glad that I'm on that train. So I'm not doing this in mohair. So I had some West Yorkshire Aran weight yarn that I've had in my stash for a long time. Um, I was gonna use it to do a flax sweater and I just never did. So I have this yarn that I am gonna use for a rhinoculus. And I'm gonna hopefully get this cast on next month. I know I won't cast it on in October because I wanna get my after the rain um, sweater done and my uh, Felix cardigan. So once I get those done, then I'll cast this on and I'll cast on another uh, Felix pullover. So this is the yarn and I'll link the colorway. It may not even be a color, I think it's a number, but it's West Yorkshire Spinners and I said it's an Aaron Waite yarn. Um, it really is not that heavy. So I'm going to see the way the pattern it's, it's a paid for pattern. So I don't want to go into too much, but it, it sounds like you can pretty much knit it in anything that you, as long as you can get gauge. So I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can get gauge with this. Cause I really want to use this yarn and it's been in my stash for a long time. I just wound this up. It, it, it comes in the, um, comes in a ball or not a ball, but it, it's not in a skein. So, um, I wound it up the other day, but yes, that's it. And of course it's purple. So, and I'll maybe pop a picture in of the, um, rhinoculus or I, but I will link everything below as well. So I think we are now on to acquisitions. So I actually, I got three today in the mail, but the first one I'm going to show you is a skein of yarn that I got at my local yarn shop. And I don't think I shared this in the last, I didn't share it in the last podcast because I think it was still um, out in the bag and I just hadn't brought it into my office. This is called Out Beyond and I actually wanted to knit this on, I wanted to cast this on for um, my Halloween socks, but I've got 
those others that I'm doing. I, if I have time, I will, but it's Dream in Color, and this is a, I think it's in, it's 70% Superwash Merino, 20% Cashmere, and 10% Nylon. Ooh, so squishy. Look at this. Look at those colors. Amazing. Amazing. Love it. So I cannot wait to get this on the needles. I just, the colors just, I didn't even have, really, I mean, I looked at it and I said, I've got to, and then I was like, oh my gosh, Halloween, that would be great to cast these on. It kind of reminds me of some of the Hocus Pocus yarns that are out there, but love, love, love this. It's called Out Beyond. It's, um, if I didn't say that, and then it has a number 571, but I got this at Little Lamb, it's, which is one of my local yarn shops um, here in the Denver, Colorado area. Love it. Absolutely love it. So you will be, I will definitely be sharing this over on Instagram. And of course it'll be shared on the podcast, but I will share it on Instagram the minute I cast this on, because I think it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. So that's my first acquisition. And then my next acquisition I got today in the mail from one of my favorite dyers, um, Christina over at Chelsea Lux Yarn. So I got this little set here. Oh my bejeezy. <laughs> Love it. I'm sorry I'm not taking it out of the bag, but hopefully you can see that. It's called Gilded Rose. And this I think is a new color for her. So I got her mohair. Um, it's silk, it's um, kid silk mohair, and then I got the um, MCM fingering weight to pair it with. And right now, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to, I think I'm going to do another ascot with this, because I just think it would be beautiful. So that's kind of my plans for that, for this right now. If I don't use it for um, a sweater or something of that, she's got a sweater that she just, um, I think her name is Shana, Shana Billows maybe that does knitting for her or does patterns for her. But she did a, um, a cozy, it's called Co my cozy sweater, or cozy something, it's a sweater. Um, really nice and that's knit in her, I wanna say it's a DK. I don't know, I'll, I'll link it below. I'll link the pattern below, but may use this for that. Um, but I don't think so, because I, I, it's this isn't the right weight, but I'm definitely gonna be using this to cast on, and I'm gonna be casting on really, really soon. So, so I also received some progress keepers and stitch markers today, and these came from, I love this shop on Etsy, Adore Knits. Um, I'm not going to show that because so they're over on she has an Etsy shop love her progress keepers and stitch markers and I got a Halloween one I think I did I got a little witch and some mushrooms so I'll see if I can take these out so I can show you because it's super cute it's a gnome this is so cute oh There you go. Hopefully that's focusing. Not blowing out. And then just some round ones come with that. And also a mushroom stitch marker. Of course it's purple. Oh, it's trying to focus on me, Lisa. What are you doing? What are you doing, Lisa? And then I got a Christmas one, which are just some snowmen. Super cute as well. And she always th throws in some little extras, which is really, really sweet of her. And so she uh, put in a little bat with some how Halloween -y orange stitch markers. I don't know if you can see that in the bag, but it's just a bat and then some round stitch markers. 
So that's my first, or that's my uh, second acquisition there. And that came today. I went and got these just before I started podcasting. I went. Okay, so my camera cut me off. I got to figure this out with this card because it's got plenty of space on it, but it just randomly cuts me off. Very rude, very rude. Okay, and my, I think this is my last, yes, my last acquisition was my knit crate. And it says Pop Dreams. This is the card that comes with it. And then on the back, there's a download for the patterns now. They used to send a book and they don't do that anymore. And then it came with some soak in wild mint, yeah, wild mint. Haven't used that before, so. Came with that, and then my, I have the sock, I get the sock crate, and so this is just some really pretty blues, reds, purples, really like those colors. So, this will make a nice pair of socks. So this will be fun to get on the needles as well, or it would be fun to put into maybe like a scarf or something like that. And this is 75% superwash wool and 10% cashmere and 15% nylon. So it's uh, 439 yards and 100 grams. And it's also very squishy soft. So really, really um, like this. And I know everyone's waiting for those winners. So as I said, I went on and I, because I had so many comments, Thank you guys so much for all the love that you showed me on my last podcast. Um, I had so many views and I got a lot of new subscribers out of it. Um, it just, it warms my heart to read all of the comments and just this community is so, so sweet and just welcoming. I mean, I've, I feel so welcomed in this knitting community ever since I started, even before I started podcasting, just watching other people's podcasts and commenting and you know the the responses back and watching other people's comments um it's just a really really welcoming community and i can't i couldn't ask for for a better group of friends uh so without further ado i had shown this on the last podcast for our first winner they are going to receive a yo yarn girl canvas bag and a skein of yarn. It's a Lolo Did It, Lolo Original sock yarn. And this color is called Happiness. What better happy mail, happiness, what better thing to get in the mail? So I will get this out um, as soon as I can. Uh, probably as soon as you contact me, actually I'll put it in the mail. So there won't be any really wait time with that. But the winner, and I'm hoping I'm not messing up your name, so sorry if I do, is Sharinda Muzon, and I will put that on the screen. So you will be receiving a Yo Yarn Girl canvas bag and happiness from Lolo Did It, and so Lolo Original. So can't wait to get that out to you. Um, I love her yarn. I have knit several pair of socks in this base, and I really, really like it. Um, I've had this one for a while and I just wanted to show some, you know, sh I want it to get some love. Green's not necessarily my favorite color. It's definitely my husband's favorite color, but I had just met, knit him a green hat, a muscle burrow in uh, that colorway. So we're going for a different, he wanted a black hat. So, um, but that's for Sharinda Muzon. And then, as I said, I got so many comments and I had so many views on that last podcast. I just felt the need to pick another winner. So I said, we're going to have a runner up. So I picked two winners and I use a random comment picker that they have. I use a program called uh, TubeBuddy and it's super simple because I just put in, you know, what the uh, keyword is and it randomly goes through and it selects. So um, love that program. It makes it so much easier. Um, I'll be doing giveaways all the time now. <laughs> so um, really, really excited to be able to share um, something with my, uh, my viewers. That's super important to me. 
I'm here to share what I like knitting and I do that for you and I hope that you get some joy out of it. There's so many podcasters out there that I watch that I get joy from and that's why I decided to turn around and give back and it's to hopefully give joy to all of you that are out there watching. Okay, but you want to know who the next winner is. So the next winner will be receiving this 50 gram skein of yarn and this is from Craftly Designs. Um, craftily designed, dyed yarns and she is a local dyer to me um, so I order a lot of yarn from her and I really really like her yarn as well I got a advent from her in 20 I want to say 2020 I think 2020 I got an advent from her and love it I've put the advent in different things but this is going to go to Sharon Spear I think it's Sharon Spear but I'll put the I'll put your name across the uh, the screen as well, and I will probably throw in a random mini with this or a progress keeper. But um, again, if Sharon Spear Spear and Sharinda, if you will please contact me, you can either contact me over on Instagram. I'm um, yo yarn girl yo underscore yarn girl on Instagram, or I have an email that's also linked in my podcast yo yarn girl at gmail.com you can um, email me with your information and i will make sure that this gets out to you guys in the mail so super excited for the two winners um and i hope that you love that yarn just as much as i love that yarn so um i will chat a little bit about life stuff because i think i'm yeah i think i've oh i do sorry i've got one more acquisition to show you how could i forget i've been waiting on these and i finally got them so I don't know if any of you watch Nitty McPurley. She again has a great podcast and I had ordered these scissors. This is a leather pouch that these come in. Absolutely love, 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 love this. And she has these made. This is a color that I think is signature to her. They have their little logo on the back and it's made in Canada. It's real leather. It's really nice. It's nicely made. And so I ordered that and um, she was nice enough to, she also has a wool wash. Um, she has a website, so she has a podcast, but if you go to her podcast, she has a website, she has patterns, she dyes yarn. Um, and now she recently has added in some hand balm, lip balm, and she has wool wash. And so she threw this in, that was so sweet of her to do. Um, funny story, she mentioned on her podcast Sunday how she had had a little bit of trouble with the, the mail and she was thinking about using UPS because they had lost another package. It was me, sorry. <laughs> so, but she was so sweet. She got this um, out to me super quickly and I absolutely really, I love her hand bomb. So I got some hand bomb. This was her, um, I think spring and summer and it's peony. And then I got the, fall hand bomb with that that is um apple cranberry and it smells wonderful it feels great on your hands i absolutely love it um it's very very dry here in colorado and during the as the weather gets cooler um my husband will have he'll it's his skin splits a little and he rubbed his uh, thumb in there the other day and he was like, oh, this feels really good. So uh, I probably will, he might get some of these in his stocking. Mm -hmm. So, but really, really like that. And again, um, Devin over at Nitty McPurley, super sweet lady. Um, go check her out, check out her podcast, check out her website. She has a lot of really nice things. She does a lot of necklace um, stitch markers and she has, my daughter last Christmas got me a magnifying glass that she, it's a necklace, it's like jewelry that she carries on her um, website. So go check her out and um, you know, you may see something that you like. So, so life stuff, I have, um, my daughter has a birthday on Sunday and she's been just crazy about it. Um, so we will probably be doing, celebrating with her and doing some stuff with her. Um, I won't give out her exact age, but she's well into her thirties and, um, 
you know, it's all about her this week and this weekend. So we are going to celebrate her. For those of you that know me, um, you may be aware that my daughter is, um, she has high functioning um, autism. She's actually what they consider Asperger's because she's uh, verbal and, um, you know, she can, she's self-sufficient, sufficient. she has a job, she works in a daycare, she does very, very well for herself. Um, hi, Danielle, I know you're watching. Um, and we're super excited to celebrate her. So I, and I did ask her to share that, if I was able to share that about her, because I do ask um, her that, you know, some people don't want that information shared. And I said to her, hey, I want to celebrate you on a little bit on the podcast and give you a whoop whoop for your birthday um, that's coming on Sunday. And do you mind if I share? And she said, no, absolutely not, mom, I don't. Um, she actually wants people to be aware and, um, you know, when she was diagnosed, there just, A, there weren't a lot of girls with Asperger's, but B, there just wasn't a lot of information out there. And it took us a while to figure things out, what was going on with her. And, you know, it's been a, it's been a long road, but we are in a really good place. She's in a really good place. Um, she lives here with me and, um, we just love her to death. I mean, anyone that meets, she just has this dynamic personality and um you you know that danielle has walked into the room when you meet her so um she is she probably will make a an appearance on the podcast at some time at some point and she's actually been bugging me to teach her to knit and i'm gonna tell you i don't know if i have the patience <laughs> i don't want to um I want to teach because I think it'd be really good for her on stressful days if she could just come home and knit on something. But I just, I, I don't know if I can do that yet. So we have a local yarn shop that gives lessons and she's been in there with me a couple of times. And the woman in there um, said that absolutely she'd be willing to, you know, let her sit in the class and she could learn. So, and I think they will do private lessons as well. So maybe we will do some private lessons for her because I would love for her to be able to knit along with me um, because I just, we enjoy each other's company. So um, I also have a son who um, is almost going to be 30. His birthday is Valentine's Day. He is my Valentine baby. And he lives in Florida. He does come out here for the holidays to visit and um, we miss him a lot. But um, yeah, I have two grown kids and then I have three beautiful stepdaughters and they're all all over the place. So um, really, really love our kids and they're all, you know, doing their own thing. But that's kind of some life stuff for us. Um, some podcasts that I've been watching lately. Um, Leslie from A Friend to Knit With. Love her podcast. She just has us just a soothing just her personality is just really really good and I love watching her she has beautiful pieces she has a lot of classic pieces that she knits so um, go check her out actually I think she just released something today um, obviously I watched the crazy sock lady um, nitty natty and I was able to get the yarn and the one of the bags for sock mists that will be coming up i want to say the 28th of november it's all on over on uh natalie nitty natty's channel natalie's channel um but if you are interested in knitting some socks with a group of people and um just getting into the holiday spirit check out her podcast and she mentions all that a newer podcaster that i just came about probably last week is The Balanced Knitter, and it was a really nice podcast. So check out um, A Balanced Knitter, and I will link all these below so that you're able to just click into their podcasts. Um, it makes it a lot easier, so I will uh, link all those, and actually I got that, um, the person that I got that from is Christy Archer, because she did that when she mentioned several podcasters on her podcast, and she had them all linked below, and we could just go click them. So. Um, thank you, Christy, for that tip. So I'm still new at editing and all of that. So um, be patient, but you guys have been so, so kind. So I can't wait to upload my next podcast. 
I hope that you like what you've seen today. If you do, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I upload. And um, I do want to have another giveaway. And I think for that one, I just want you to tell me what your favorite fall item is, whether it's a food item, a clothing item, something that you do, a tradition that you have in the fall. But whatever you do, use the word fall because that's what I'm going to do to uh, pick a winner. And I will probably in the community tab, I will put over there what um, the prize will be. But it will um, definitely include some yarn, um, maybe a bag or something of that uh, nature, some uh, stitch markers. But definitely comment below. Uh, like I said, give me a like. Um, it helps with the algorithm. Um, I'm hoping to get my podcast out there to a lot more people and um, that you're enjoying what you see and I can just bring a little bit of joy into someone's home. So until next time, happy knitting.